I was walking every day near the Thames in Oxford, um, maybe for about an hour, usually the same route. So the first month was just kind of beginning to detach from the life before, rushing around, traveling, being busy, kind of um, settling in, getting used to this lockdown period. The second month, I think I began to really feel like I was becoming a different person. So by the beginning of June, that was when all these poems came to me. And I think I was just experiencing things in a different way, observing more. And yes, I think a lot of that was experiencing nature regularly, doing the same walk, but seeing so many different things each day, seeing life moving on, moving from spring in towards summer and all the small changes within nature, different animals, different flowers, those kind of things. So yes, nature was, was coming into my soul and, and yes. art was coming out as a result, I guess. I set mm. off on a walk on my own um, and I just got all these images, all these lines or poems coming to me. And yes, it was like opening a dam. It, it didn't stop. As soon as I got one under control, stored it in my head or wrote it down, another set arrived and it just mm. kept on and on for you know a couple of hours at least. So right. it just yeah. flowed as, as I said. Yeah. sense that there were so many different things around me that I wanted to reflect on and, and that became poems and I, I guess it, it sort of it built up and then slowed down again as the walk went on so initially I had that one poem and then I can't remember exactly but I probably sat down to write it and then several more came and as the walk went on it became more frequent and more intense um, yeah. and in a way I it was sort of limiting in that I just couldn't carry on with the walk until I'd got these poems out. Um, so yeah, an overwhelming sense of purpose. But then as I got further on into the walk, I think it began to slow down again, that you know, my brain had got through most of the ideas that yes. were lurking. And mm. I got closer towards home, you know, I could get further without having to stop and write something down. And mm. yeah, so it really just followed a sort of a natural curve through the walk, peaking towards the middle, but it was, yeah, it was so intense that I did have to keep stopping and writing things because I wanted to keep them and I wanted to move on to the next poem. So I just had to write it in case I lost it.